Arguably the most deployed nozzle in Dallas Fire Rescue is the fog nozzle. This is primarily because for the last several decades, our primary attack fire hose was incapable of supporting low pressure nozzles. Currently, the department uses two different types of fog nozzles depending on the apparatus with which it is used. Spartan apparatus are equipped with the TFT automatic fog nozzle, while Pierce apparatus are outfitted with the Elkhart Brass Chief XD fixed flow fog nozzle. Before getting into the differences between these two types of nozzles, let's take a closer look at the characteristics of fog nozzles in general. As water flows through the nozzle, it is directed around a baffle, creating a water stream surrounding a hollow core of air. As the nozzle is rotated, the stream pattern can be adjusted from a straight stream for fire attack to a wide fog pattern to assist in pushing heat and toxic gases away from the firefighter. These nozzles provide excellent flow and mobility, as well as the flexibility of a variable pattern. Both fog nozzles in use at DFR are designed to operate at 75 PSI of nozzle pressure. Since this pressure is higher than a smoothbore, it will create greater nozzle reaction when flowing at designated capacity. One advantage provided by fog nozzles is the ability to effectively flow foam since the baffle on the stem agitates the water, the foam solution leaving the nozzle is capable of creating the proper foam blanket. However, unlike the smoothbore, the baffle does create a choke point within the nozzle that can possibly trap pieces of debris, reducing flow through the nozzle. Some fog nozzles are outfitted with a mesh gasket grabber located at the back of the nozzle to help trap any debris that may work its way into the stream. This filter should be checked and cleaned after each use. Another drawback to the fog nozzle comes with the increased number of moving parts. Improper maintenance of these nozzles can lead to mechanical failure and mineral deposit buildup if the nozzle is not properly cleaned and maintained. This is especially true with the automatic fog nozzle. Now the biggest difference between smoothbore and fog nozzles is seen in the water stream as it leaves the nozzle. Unlike smoothbore nozzles, the water stream produced by a fog nozzle is a cylindrical pattern with a hollow core of air at its center. This core expands as the fog pattern is increased. When a fog nozzle is opened up to a cone-shaped pattern, such as a 30-degree power cone, a powerful venturi of air is created that forcefully pushes heat, fire, smoke, and other products of combustion ahead of the attack team. Dave Fornell points out that additional air movement caused by improper use of fog streams can also accelerate burning, releasing more heat than if the fire were left to itself. Another complication that can arise with fog nozzles comes with the droplet size created by the agitation of the stream itself. Multiple studies have shown that the average droplet size of a fog nozzle is between 0.25 and 0.35 millimeters. This is over 80% smaller than droplets created by a smoothbore. Because of the smaller diameter of these droplets, if applied in any type of fog pattern and if the velocity is not high enough, Nearly 75% of your fire stream can evaporate at the ceiling if temperatures are at or near flashover. Anytime a fog nozzle is used for interior attack, the pattern should be kept in a complete straight stream until the fire is knocked down and overhaul has begun. So now let's turn our attention to the differences between the fixed flow and automatic fog nozzles. The fixed flow fog nozzle, equipped on all Pierce engines, is designed with a fixed internal stem attached to a baffle at the end. This stem provides a predetermined flow rate from the nozzle based on flow and required nozzle pressures. For several well-grounded reasons, DFR has adopted a 75 PSI fog nozzle. Similar to the smoothbore, one of the benefits of a fixed flow nozzle is that the efficiency of the stream is dependent on the pressure provided to the nozzle. Since this nozzle is designed to flow at 75 PSI nozzle pressure, drastically underpumping to this nozzle will create a weaker stream due to the decreased velocity of water. This is a key indicator to the member operating the nozzle that they are not pumping enough water to the fire. While the general design of the automatic fog nozzle carried on our Spartan fleet is relatively similar to the fixed flow fog, the key difference lies in an internal spring affixed to the stem of the nozzle. Unlike fixed flow fog nozzles, as the pressure and volume increase on the nozzle, the spring automatically adjusts the size of the discharge orifice to maintain a set pressure at the nozzle. 
This means that whether you're flowing 70 GPM or 200 GPM, the nozzle pressure will remain at 75 PSI and your nozzle will produce a consistent stream pattern. While at first this may appear to be a benefit, this can actually lead to a false sense of security for the firefighter operating the nozzle. Automatic fog nozzles provide no indication as to whether or not they are providing an appropriate volume of water. If the pump operator underpumps the engine in order to make firefighting efforts easier on the nozzle, it is more than likely that an insufficient volume of water is being applied to the fire. Another challenge that arises with the automatic fog nozzle comes with the addition of more moving parts. Since the flow is adjusted by the spring mechanism, more opportunity is created for mechanical failure. If these nozzles are not serviced regularly, mineral buildup and corrosion can lead to significant variations in flow rates and failure of the nozzle to operate as intended.